welcome to Alexa's Kitchen. Today in my Say Cheese series, I want to make some cheese crackers for you. They're called Crostilla, they're French crackers. They're very, very good. And I make them with um, Parmesan cheese and with a cheese called Comté cheese. So I'm gonna start grating my cheeses and then I will be back. So I'm using one and a half uh, coffee mugs of the Comté cheese and I'm just gonna put this in a my mixer food processor here. more of this. And then I'm going to do a half a coffee mug of the Parmesan cheese. So I think this is our half a half a cup, half a coffee mug. And now I'm going to add some butter. I'm using cold and unsalted butter. And then just a little bit of cayenne pepper. And a coffee mug of flour. Now we're going to combine all of this. Okay, close your ears. So let's check on our cheese mixture. Well, everything looks nicely combined and now I am going to remove my blade and place everything on a piece of plastic wrap. And then I'm going to form a log out of my um, cheese mixture here. Now, traditionally they're served like um, in a round form, in like a cookie form, but um, you know, I make them in whatever form I like and whatever in the mood I am. So today I'm going to make a little um, rectangular form. This is going to go in the refrigerator for about two hours and you can actually prepare this ahead of time and leave it overnight in the refrigerator which is great because when you make them if you have company or so um, you can have the dough and everything ready. So, um, so I'll be back in about two hours. So I want to tell you a little bit about the Conte cheese that we're using today. It comes from the eastern part of France. France. <laughs> <laughs> which borders to the Swiss Alps and um, it's a very seasonal cheese. It's used with unpasteurized milk which means that the milk farmer brings the fresh milk to the cheese farmer right away and depending on the season the cows will eat in the summer off of um, flowers and, and grass and everything and in the winter they will eat hay and so the summer Conte has a lot more um, rich yellowy color to it than the one in the winter, which is a little more pale as you just saw that we, when we showed that to you. So, um, and the taste is also a little, bit, a little bit different depending on what season. And the age of the Conte, usually you buy this um, for 12 to 15 months it's aged. If you buy older cheeses, which are not so easy to find, at least not here in Naples, I found, um, you would use the older cheeses at about four years for um, sandwiches or um, cheese boards. And the younger ones you can use for um, gratins and fondues and mac and cheeses. They have a very good um, melting point, the younger cheeses. So um, let's wait till our, um, our dough is cooled off and then I will be back. So our um, cheese cracker dough has rested now in the refrigerator for two hours and I'm going to unwrap it now and cut off my little rectangles. So all I do now is I, I just cut the end off because the end is a little not so straight and then I just cut a piece off like this. So, And then I'm going to put this on a piece of parchment paper and what I've done is so the parchment paper doesn't fly up I've added um, a little bit of butter under my 
parchment paper so it sticks down. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to put this in the oven at 350. So our croustillants are finished and um, you want to make sure they smell really good. You can smell the cheese and the butter. You want to make sure that they're not brown because if they turn brown, they will turn bitter. And they were in the oven for uh, 12 minutes. Now, depending on what size and shape you make them, that will depend on how long they're in the oven. So you just have to keep an eye on that. Um, and now we're going to finish them off with our sea salt. I have this beautiful Himalayan pink sea salt here. And these, this is a little too big, so I've broken this down with my rolling pin. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt now over each cracker. And then also add some fresh chives out of my garden. So the cheese crackers are really great. The cheese and the butter flavor comes together really well. And then the, um, the texture with the sea salt, the crunchiness of the sea salt and the softness of the chive and the taste is really, really good. But I'm gonna stop talking now so you can head into your kitchen and make your own. And I will see you next time in Alexa's kitchen. Bye-bye.